Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Saying Beth. You know, last week when I was in Las Vegas, I had the opportunity to take the Golden Touch Craps class. And I've struggled with what I'm going to say about that here on these videos. I've got to be respectful and um, recognize their intellectual property and not give away anything that they're teaching, okay? So if you're expecting me to kind of show off my toss and uh, the betting strategies, I'm not going to do that here in this channel. But what I will do is say that it was worth every penny that I spent on it. And I want you to hear that loud and clear, man. It was worth every penny uh, that I spent on it. It lived up to my expectations and then some. So uh, what I can talk about is maybe what we did uh, over, over that couple of days. So the day one was on a Friday night. Uh, it was a two hour open house, open to the public. Anybody that wanted to could come in, uh, play around on their practice stations, visit with some of the instructors, and try to determine if it was something that would be good for you to, to do in the future. Got to meet a lot of the, uh, the alumni uh, out of the Golden Touch Crepes organization, and just had some great uh, just mingling time uh, with, with all these people. Uh, that also allowed me to kind of see the facilities before we are going to spend so much time in them. And then we um, uh, came Saturday morning, and it is a full day, uh, a full eight-hour day on Saturday and a full eight-hour day on Sunday. Uh, it's, it's really kind of what you would expect. We had a lot of lecture uh, from uh, the Dominator himself, uh, as well as uh, some of uh, his other instructors. And then we broke up into small groups, and then we would go from workstation to workstation, working with different instructors that would take a look at our toss uh, and critique it for us. And I could tell you this, uh, my particular instructor, um, my base instructor, within about five minutes, he picked up on something um, that's going to change my game forever. Uh, I, I don't mean to sensationalize it, but what he taught me in those few minutes um, is something that I've been missing for the past two years of playing craps. So uh, I, I can't go into it more detail than that, guys. It, it kind of take it as a testimonial, I guess, uh, in that, that if within minutes he was able to tell something was wrong with my toss and gave me um, real advice on what to do about it. So, so we got to play. Uh, we got to play all day, or not play, but we got our lectures and uh, uh, we did our uh, labs, I guess you would call it, as we would go from station to station. And uh, then we called it a day, and we were tired, and uh, uh, you know, throwing the dice all day long, that can get pretty exhausting. And we were small groups, and, and it was toss, 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 toss. And that's, uh, I will say this, I guess, one of the things that they drill into you is practice, practice, practice. And, you know, that's not any news to anybody, I'm sure, but uh, in order to get your money's worth out of this class, you do need to practice, and I mean practice a lot. So, um, so that's what we did. Uh, we worked on it. We worked on analyzing how to tell if your toss is good or bad. It's not all about did it, did they um, fly together in the air? Did they stay on axis? There's a little bit more to it than that. And they were able to tell us how to, uh, I guess, how to grade uh, each toss you know, based on the results. Was it a good result? Uh, then came Sunday, and it was really more of the same thing. A little bit more lecture and a little bit more on the tables. And then we ended up today with a little friendly contest uh, called the No 07 Contest, and uh, uh, everybody had a chance to win. Each group sent a, uh, a representative uh, to the big show, and uh, they, they got to throw it out for uh, to see who was going to be the winner. So um, that was a lot of fun. Now, I am extremely lucky. Uh, I happened to be... Um, at the location where the Dominator and his crew were were playing, uh, both on Friday and Saturday night, and, and Sunday. Yeah, so it was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm not going to go into details on that other than he didn't disappoint, guys. It was it was a show. Um, and, yeah, yeah I, 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 okay, I'm going to divulge one other thing, I guess. Um, when the Dominator was throwing the dice, I have never seen such intense concentration on, on what he's doing. Would not talk to anybody except for the dealers. And just that look in his eyes is like, uh, you, we hear about all the time, in the zone. The man was in the zone and his results were showing it. And not just him. Uh, several of his partners and teachers were also at the, uh, at the tables as well. And, uh, you know, we, we just had a great time. I didn't shoot. You know, I, I just passed the dice. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> number one, I didn't want to embarrass myself in front of him. And number two, I wanted to get the dice back to him as fast as I possibly could. So uh, I'm sorry, guys, that I can't go into much more detail than that. Uh, but uh, I'm going to say it, say it one more time. If you are serious about practicing and you do want to improve your game, talk to these guys. Call them up. They've got a website and a phone number, and I'll put a link down to the website uh, below. Uh, but it's worth, uh, in my opinion, it's worth every penny that I spent. You know, when else do you get to spend two days with a legend? Uh, and if you're lucky enough, actually get to play at the table with a legend. You know, that doesn't happen all the time. So, um, again, guys, I apologize for not being able to go into too much details, but I do have to be respectful uh, of uh, what they teach and, uh, and, and their course. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. I do appreciate it.